So I've been looking for an API 500 series mic preamp for quite some time, specifically the 312. However, as you probably know, they're quite expensive. The good news is, is that there's several other manufacturers out there that make a copy of this type of preamp. Now, I recently got turned on to Stam Audio and saw that they make their own version called the 312-5 Plus, and that's what we have with us today. It actually just arrived. So please join me today as we go ahead and do an unboxing of this mic preamp and take a quick listen to what it sounds like. But before we do that, like what we always do, let's first go ahead and roll that intro. All right, so I have the package here in front of us. I'm really excited about this. Again, I've been waiting to get an API 500 series preamp for a while, so really excited, but let's not go ahead and waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's just cut this baby open. And one other thing I do wanna mention, just to go ahead and be transparent here, this uh, I purchased used from Reverb.com. I got it for a really good price too. Normally these things cost about $700. Um, however, I was able to pick it up for I think like 405. So super, super excited about this. And ooh, okay, all right, pretty good packing. All right, happy to see that here. So um, hold on one second. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this thing out. Let's see. <laughs> It's funny when you buy stuff used because the fact that you always see this very creative type of packing that's going on. So do I have anything else here? No, okay, so we're good with that. So let's put that off to the side. And uh, hold on, I let me try like this. Give me a second here. All right, cool. Oh, I can already start to see it. Oh, baby, here we go. So again, API 500 series preamp. Let's see how this thing looks like right now. This looks so nice. Hold on, I'm trying to grab it from the sides here. And look at this thing. Look at this thing. Let me go ahead and turn this around so that way you can see here in the camera. That looks pretty freaking awesome, if I may say so myself. And then look at this. Oh man, hold on, check this out. Oh, that looks nice. Let me turn it, let me turn it upside down so that way you can see it with the logo as well. There we go. And that's it, looks great. Oh, really, really pretty. Really happy to see this thing. So what I would like to do next, hold on. I just wanna take a, again, this is the first time you've seen this. I just wanna make sure everything is working properly. You wanna make sure you always do that with used equipment. And it looks like so far there's no issues with it. Obviously we'll go ahead and get it plugged in and uh, let's go ahead and take a quick listen to this. So we'll do that next. One last thing I wanna go ahead and mention before we go ahead and take a listen to this 500 series unit is the fact that we're just gonna be listening for just our initial impression. This is not by any means a full review. We do have one that will be coming up that will be going over all the technical details about this unit. I'm really excited about that video. So if you're interested in that as well, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. That way you are prepared and notified for when that video drops. Okay, without any more delays, let's go ahead and take a listen to this unit. All right, so this is the sound of the Slate Digital ML1 microphone going through the Stam Audio 312-5 Plus. God, what a name that has. But anyways, now you have a chance to hear of what this sounds like. Now, what I'm also planning to be doing in the very near future is actually do a head-to-head -head with the Stam Audio against one of Cappy's VP312 microphone preamps they have as well. So it's two preamps by different companies that are trying to emulate the same legendary sound, the API sound. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to hear the differences between these two different preamps, okay? Now, for frame of reference, what I also want to do for you guys is, because I don't think it's just fair for you to hear what this microphone sounds like through the stam, what I also want to do is now play it through my preamps that come included with my interface, which is going to be the Focusrite 18 i 20 and that way you have a frame of reference of what this sounds like compared to what would you would maybe have included normally with your interface. So let's go ahead and listen to that clip next. Okay, so now this is, again, the same exact microphone, the ML1 microphone, except now, instead of running it through the Stam Audio, we are now running it through the Focusrite 18i's 20s onboard preamps. And now, I want to know what you guys think of the differences between, again, the Stam Audio and the Focusrite. Let me know what you think. Is it worth getting all this expensive outboard gear to get a better sound, or do you think it's okay just using the onboard preamps? I'm really interested on your thoughts and what you think. All right. Now let's go ahead and start to wrap this video up. 
And that has been my unboxing of the Stam Audio 312-5 Plus. So far, I really do enjoy the way how it sounds. However, again, we're going to be doing a more in-depth review on this specific unit. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you are subscribed so you are notified for when that drops. Also, if you did like this video, I did make another video about what is the best studio desk that you can buy for less than 600 bucks. So if that sounds like it's right up your alley, be sure to go ahead and check that video out. And once again, thank you so much for staying to the end. I deeply appreciate it. It means a lot. And well, as always, happy mixing.